Hey friends, welcome back. So I'm finally here with the $10 challenge. It is not much to get, but that's because I just don't want you guys to have to spend unnecessary money and hopefully most of you were able to go out to Dollar General and are pretty much stocked up. But hey, if you are new to couponing and you started getting inserts last week or you are have available um, or you have um, your coupons.com is available to you and you have a printer because uh, if you just started and tomorrow is going to be your first day, you might not have these coupons for the Garnier, which were in last week's inserts. However, they were on coupons.com, so hopefully you can print those. But um, this is what I came up with. So I just want to tell you that I am not putting wet and wild in this breakdown and the reason is because number one not everybody's going to get those coupons and i wanted it to be fair and number two not every store carries wet and wild products i know right there's a lot of cvs stores that don't carry wet and wild so if you want to do wet and wild let me just go over the um breakdown for wet and wild and you guys can do it it will be a money maker but it just depends on your store so first off wet and wild is going to be spend 10 get five okay you can do this deal three times meaning three times and get a five i'm sorry three times and get a five dollar extra buck that's what limit three means now the deal is is if you have a lot of these coupons there is a one dollar off coupon coming in tomorrow's inserts that's one dollar off of a eye product you can pick up 10 of the eyeliners and use 10 coupons now i'm not saying doing all 10 coupons in one transaction i'm just saying if you have 10 coupons available to you you can definitely do that split up your transactions do four in one transaction four in another transaction and two in the last transaction and then your ecb will print on the last transaction because at cbs you know that they track your spending on the bottom of your receipt so you would have to break up your transaction um, depending on how many coupons your store allows you to use in one transaction. So if you are able to do that, you would only pay tax and then you will end with a $5 extra buck and then you can start with $10 in ECBs. And the reason that I say start with 10 is because last week we ended with $5 in extra bucks last Sunday. And then if you are able to do Wet n Wild, you will get five dollars back from doing the wet and wild so you would have ten dollars to start with but again i just didn't want to include it because i wanted to kind of keep it open and like general things that i think everybody in every store will have so that is why i did not include the wet and wild i will be doing the wet and wild but um the store that I will film at, they don't carry Wet n Wild, so I'm going to have to do it at another store, but I'll talk about that when I am shopping. But again, that is the breakdown for the Wet n Wild, so let's get into the actual breakdown. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up three of the Garnier um, items. So the Garnier is going to be, let me get it over here. It's going to be spend 10, you get a $3 extra buck, limit of one. So the first two are gonna be 350 each because it's two for seven. And you see 379, that's gonna be the third one. The third one's gonna ring up 379 and not 350. So you can get um, the shampoo and conditioner or you can get the stylers, just depends on what you would like to get. Now. The coupons are going to be in the 129 red plum. So these came out last week. So was that last week? I think that was was that last week, y'all. I could be lying. It could be 122. It could be no. It's 129. It's one. Is it one? Y'all, I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry. I think it's 129. So the deal would be, uh, you purchase three of them. Your total is going to come out to ten dollars and seventy nine cents. You're gonna use three coupons. You're either gonna use three of the $2 off shampoo and conditioner or three of the stylers, or you're gonna mix and match. Again, it just depends on what you wanna get, but they're both $2 off coupons. So your out of pocket is gonna be $4.79, and then you're gonna get back a $3 extra buck. So it's gonna be $1.79 for all three items, which comes out to be about 50 something cents per. Um, shampoo or conditioner or styler just depends so um, if you need those items 59 cents is not bad definite 
specifically if you are just starting out couponing or if you're trying to build your stockpile 59 cents is definitely not a bad price so um yeah you'll get a three dollar extra buck back next up this is going to be in the same transaction you're going to get two of the men's speed sticks because they are going to be priced at two for five and again it's only men so you're going to get two of those so get your boyfriend girlfriend boyfriend sorry your boyfriend hubby brother dad whoever um some men's speed stick and two for five you're going to use the coupon that's coming out in tomorrow's inserts. It's buy one, get one free. And again, buy men's because women's is not included on the CVS ad. So make sure you get two men's and you're going to get $2.50 off for that. So they are priced at two for five. So the BOGO coupon is going to be $2.50 off. And then you're going to get back a $3 extra buck. So you're going to pay $2.50 out of pocket and you're going to get back a $3 extra buck, making both deodorants free plus a 50 cent money maker. So that's a really good deal. So definitely, if the deodorant's going to be a 50 cent money maker, then you're going to just look at it like, oh, well, that 50 cents is going towards the shampoo and conditioner so you're basically getting the shampoo and conditioner for a lot cheaper if this deal is a money maker and again if you were able to do the wet and wild then it'll really be a money maker so your total for the garnier is 4.79 right here then you're going to have your total for the men's speed stick is going to be 250 so 4.79 and 250 comes out to be 7.79 i'm sorry no i'm sorry 7.29 I can't add obviously so $7.29 minus the $5 ECB from last week so we're gonna roll last week's extra buck you're gonna pay two dollars and 29 cents out of pocket in cash or card depends on what you have and you're gonna end with six dollars in extra bucks so that means you're gonna get three dollars from the Garnier three dollars from the speed stick so you'll have six dollars to go into next week or if you want to buy something else definitely keep going but next week's deals are really really good so this is going to depend on what you want to buy in your transaction i wanted to keep it minimal for you guys because i like for you to start off with um spending as least amount of money out of pocket as possible and i mean there's more deals to get but like the nivea i got the nivea for 50 cents um, at Dollar General because they're two dollars and at CVS they cost a little bit more They're gonna cost you a dollar each. So if you want to buy Nivea you can however I Got mine at Dollar General earlier today So I'm not pushing to do this deal. But again, if you want to buy those definitely do it That's if you wanted to keep shopping now. I will also mention to you guys Let me find it the physician's formula deal i think that's a good deal because you're spending ten dollars and you're getting seven dollars in extra bucks back so if you wanted to pick up an item that's 9.99 you could definitely do that and you can do a second transaction hold on disregard this sorry that was going to be a different breakdown so you could do a, a separate transaction. It would be $9.99 for the physician's formula because there are some items that are $9.99. You would use $6 in extra bucks because that's going to be the extra bucks that you ended with transaction number one. Your out-of-pocket in cash is going to be $3.99 and you're going to get back a $7 extra buck. Again, this is only if you want to do this deal. I was just kind of figuring it out earlier and then I was like, nah, I'm not going to include it. But I want to give you options because, hey, you may need makeup this week. You may want to buy Physicians Formula. So that is just an option for you if you wanted to do that. Then you could get your $7 in extra bucks and you could keep that for next week. But again, this is what I thought was a pretty good breakdown for you guys. You're going to get some shampoo, conditioner, or stylers, and some men's deodorant, and you will end with $6 in ECBs to go into next week. It's not much this week, but again, I think that these are okay deals to do. 
And you could start next week with doing, um, there's going to be some body wash deals next week. There's going to be some good coupons coming. So next week's a lot better to me. I feel these deals this week are going to be like for more advanced couponers, especially if you have a lot of CRTs, which are the personalized coupons. You could definitely use these on um, a lot of deals if you are more experienced. But uh, for new couponers, this is what I have come up with for you guys. So um, again, I'm going to do the Wet n Wild deal. I'll mention it when I'm shopping, but I did not include it in this breakdown. So I will have this typed up. It's going to be in the description box below. And I hope that this is helpful for you guys. It seems to be going really, really good with the uh, breakdowns each week. I've been reading the comments and a lot of emails and you guys are sending me and I appreciate it. So I'm so happy that the breakdowns are really helpful for everyone, especially if you are just starting out. And if you are gonna be just starting out and you don't have a $5 extra buck, but you do have these coupons, then your out of pocket would be um, $7.29 in cash this week. So you would start with $7.29 in cash and then you would end with $6 in extra bucks. So we have $5 because we kept this $5 from last week. So that is it, guys. Again, I hope that this is helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.